Hello again. I have, we ran into an equi equipment problem trying to get the last video up. Um, so, that makes the third time I've tried, so I decided to move on to something different. Hopefully I can still show you the techniques that I used in the other one. Uh, so I'm just going to, I've got some leftover colors and what I'm going to do is kind of prepare those for the swipe. I just need to decide if I'm going to use the Payne's Gray or the black, lamp black for the swipe. Um, I read off we're using the um, Creative Impression Paint Spray, the Folk Art Metallic Gold, um, Lemire Russet and Bronze, Studio Acrylic Copper, and Sargent's Antique Gold. Now, I will tell you this paint, this paint I just put down here was a runoff paint, so that's a conglomeration of colors from a previous pour. So that may or may not, you know, be any good. Um, and this is really. So we are going to try to show you what I did before. And I just want to say thank you all so much for your feedback and the comments and requests for this video along with others. I appreciate it. If you want to see what I'm doing um, on the times when I paint, go to litasgallery.com and that will show you the paintings that I've done. Um, I'm going to put this, this is a burgundy, uh, deep burgundy, but it looks like it's purple. I promise you, it's burgundy. Anyway, I'm just going to use a little bit of this. And create a business. It's one of the things I love about paint more. It gives you a mess. inch round.
much different than swiping the paints for a which direction to go with this here. Now, on the other one that I told you that I would make the video of, that <laughs> I haven't done yet, this is the same, the same process, um, just on a different size canvas. So, the, um, the next step, and what I would do after that, is to take the chains and do a dry chain pull. Um, generally, when I do a chain pull, it's not dry, but for this, in doing these, I found that in order to bring up the color I wanted to bring up underneath, is to do, I just stepped in the dog dish, sorry. Um, is to do the dry. Now we may not have the same delineation we had on the other, but the technique is what is there. First of all, the swipe, and then the, uh, the dry chain pull. I guess I wasn't as prepared as I should have done. How's that? Um, so I think I'm going to do, let's see how this looks in black. Um, it might be okay because the lighter will show through.
Okay, and it's certainly up to you how much of the wedge you want to use, where you want to use it, how much you want to place in. Um, just looks totally different to me. Um, not that I don't like it, I think I do, but So, as was on the oval, the 16 inch oval, you had your swipe, your dry chain pull, and the wedge. Now, I'm going to drop the flowers for blowout. So now I'm going to blow, blow the flowers, or the illusion of flowers, I should say.
right. Okay, so this is gonna, this is going to come to life here. Okay, so like I said, Start off putting your colors down, incorporate it into your swipe. Right pull your chains. Um, then make your puddles for however many flowers you want. Get your straw and blow them out. And that is technique that you have asked me about on the uh, oval and this is just on a different canvas even though it does look Your petals or your delineation, of course, are entirely up to you. Like I said on a previous video, I am still learning how to do this and what's best. And <laughs> There it is. I hope that that gives you enough of the technique that you wanted. If not, message me. Um, but I'm hoping this is a visual that can help you out. And if you do try it, um, send me a photograph. I would love to see it. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for all your support and all your requests and comments. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.